Welcome one and all to the Dungeons and Dragons adventuring group, A Herd of Cats, where mostly new players and a sprinkle of experienced ones, that's me, attempt to not destroy every plot device they happen upon. Joining us is Freya, the human wizard just graduating from a prestigious wizarding academy, armed with her wits and a hand-drawn portrait of Jeff Goldblum. Played by Casey, Kanantanurk, the half-orc druid, wielding a squid tied to a stick, and the charisma of a mildly deformed rock, played by Roxas. Landon, a rock gnome cleric, possibly the leader of the herd of cats, which the rest of the group might follow if they had an attention span longer than a, uh, oh, look, a penny, played by Cindy. Sneaky Pete, the half-elf rogue and a literate rapscallion that forgot to save any stat points for intelligence, but is single and ready to mingle. Played by Jenny. Arstraza, the human rogue, a noble that has run away from home with a dark past and a dangerous secret. Oh, did I mention she has an accent? Played by me, Jeff. And last but not least, we have Aragorn, a half-elf ranger. One with the land who likes to shoot first and interrogate the dead after. After death is when diplomacy works best, after all. Played by Brian. Let's join our heroes as they have just broken into a secret underground alchemy lab that Sneaky Pete is fairly certain is just a store. One star on Yelp this place. <laughs> um. <laughs> Can we bribe him with things that are already in his shop? <laughs> Might as well, you know, maybe you should just reach into his pocket and bribe him with whatever contents you find there. It's a lot of rope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bobby is still mad because it's not a shop. <laughs> wait, wait, Bobby. Yeah. Bobby, I have a lot of charisma. Can yeah. I try and do a magic trick where I pull rope out of my bag? <laughs> is that just yeah. rope in your pocket? Is there actually you? rope in your bag? Huh? Is there actually rope in your bag? Yeah, there's like 300 feet of rope in my bag. Oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Is it really a magic trick or are you just going to be, be making a, just a ta-da impression no, as you just pull it? Build rapport. 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 Oh my god. <laughs> actually, well, I have, I have bluff. <laughs> <laughs> so I can tell him it I can fool him into thinking it's a magic trick. Wait, wait, okay. So he he's doing his best to ignore us. Has he completely ignored us? Has he acknowledged us yet? Um, I think he mumbled something. He also kind of pushed you guys out of the way, and I think uh, Brian's character tried to grab hold of his arm, kind of pushed it off, and uh, spewed chemicals almost on him. Wait, does that mean that he can't see us? You don't know. Can we ask him that? You might be blind. Um, open your shelf. Let's see. Let's, let's just get, get a recap of what you guys have done. That, that was the recap. <laughs> that, well, that was the recap. Let's, let's go slightly more detailed. Let's see, you were first given, uh, asked to go collect wolf pelts because they were, the town of Dibs was having trouble with the merchants being attacked by wolves on the way to and from the city. So you guys went to the cave to go uh, find, get rid of the wolves which you guys decided to diplomatically convince the wolves to relocate instead of attacking the villagers. When you guys learned that the the alpha wolf was killed by a displacer beast who's, who's currently in control of the wolf pack. <laughs> I don't think you mentioned the name displacer beast. Fair. Displacer beast? Displacer beast. Displacer. That's the name of the weird thing that we found. That's the name of the weird thing that you found in the cave. You, I mean, I don't think your characters know what it is, so I haven't been using the name. But it, it makes sense. Under Jenny's shirt. Yes, and but that's that's in a second. So then you guys, after convincing the displaced beast and their pack to relocate, you guys left the cave. Noticed a blood trail from the cave um, to going off into the east, which is where you currently found a large bunker. Instead Wait, of, was the blood trail, what color was the blood? I forgot. Green. Blue. See, oh. this is what I asked. Yes. Blue on the screen. Okay, blue. Well, there's green on the screen, too. There's, there's lots blue. of colors on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> you guys went east towards the bunker. In the bunker, you okay. found a... Uh, Shop? <laughs> no. <laughs> in the bunker, you found that there had been squatters of uh, bandits in the bunker 
who you guys have thought, like, you guys semi fought off, semi just convinced to leave, and after a few words slash arrows were exchanged. Let's see. Then you guys found the keypad to the, to the area you're currently in. The keypad was all in Sylvan, and you guys had to do... Oh, yeah, Casey had to do it, I right? didn't speak it. No, that already happened. I know. <laughs> okay. Okay, and then, so you guys broke in here, and you guys found... A, that Didn't the, we have a fight? Yes, you fought the three bandits slash squatters um, up in the uh, entrance way. What did we do with them? Oh, you currently just left them. They're still, they're not tied up or anything. They're just there right now. Depending on what you do, there might be, they're free to act, but they're no longer currently hostile towards you. And in that entrance way, Casey and Brian. I guess technically everyone discovered the two magical circles on the ground on both sides. And Casey had Casey using her skill checks deciphered that they were transportation circles. Oh, yeah. Uh, Yeah, but we couldn't figure out. But you don't know the activation. Casey believes that she could probably, I believe she could probably figure out the phrase to use them, but she would need help from someone who has more area in that field, but she knows a couple of professors based on her background that might be able to help her with that. Biblically. Yeah. <laughs> Even in school. Yeah, teacher's pet and everything. She did. <laughs> so now you guys are currently in the store. Um, <laughs> which, henceforth, it will be now known as the store. <laughs> where the rudest merchant is not <laughs> selling his uh, alchemic wares to you at all, completely <laughs> ignoring you. The area is a mess. You guys we find <laughs> the ca- the cages of dead and or dying animals Worse. that seem to be Worse. that he seems to be uh, partially experimenting on. Um, and when investing in the cages, Jenny jumped up to the top of someone's shoulders, opened the top cage. And a displacer beast kitten jumped out and is currently underneath, curled up, scared, um, underneath uh, her shirt. I'm whispering to it, though. It's fine. Oh, good. That's good. I mean, <laughs> you have no ability to talk to animals that I know of, but I mean... Sh- I talk at them fine. You talk at them. That's good. Speak, displacer beast. <laughs> <laughs> There is a chuckle from the puzzle room behind us. Is no one going to answer that question? Sorry, what was the question? Does no one speak Displacer Beast? Wait, Mom can talk to animals, can't she? Mom can talk to animals. And she has talked to the previous one. The previous one? Yeah. The one you guys met in the wolf cave? Oh, that was a Displacer Beast? Oh, I did not. Okay, I didn't put that together. Okay. Casey's bad at puzzles. <laughs> I mean, she solved the puzzle to get into the store. Yeah. Well, she's bad at some puzzles. <laughs> I just love that it's a store now that you've given up and it's a store. It's a store. Nothing in here is labeled in price. <laughs> it's, it's horrible. The customer service is terrible. Oh. But the coupons are great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, does that bring us up to speed? Um, yeah, also, I think Natnurk, I forgot how to pronounce your name. Natnurk. Nantanurk. Natnurk. Natnurk. Discovered journals um, in the southern part of the store that seem to have a list of dates and rough descriptions of experimentations going on. This is a bad place. Is that coffee in uh, the hand? No, uh, it's not coffee, it's a... <laughs> A beaker. Say a beaker. Mm, looks like coffee. <laughs> Who knows? You know, it has a dark liquid in it. It could be coffee. You are Am welcome to taste test it. Can I try my magic trick using bluff? <laughs> sure. Who are you trying to bluff? Is it everyone in the group? No, no, no. Just... The guy who can't see us yet, or who hasn't acknowledged us yet. Mm-hmm. So, so, so t- or, tell me what you're doing. Tell me what you're doing. I would like to tell. I would like to trick him into acknowledging us by bluffing that it's a magic trick. <laughs> Wait, so it's not, it's actually not real magic? She, she's just pulling her 300 feet of rope out of, out of her bag. 
But the magic trick is no one's expecting her to have 300 feet of rope in her bag. <laughs> She's just going to keep pulling it out, is what I'm guessing. And so therefore it looks like a magic trick because it's like, oh my god, how is this so much rope? Wait, wait, wait. So Casey's just going to keep pulling out? Is that what you go to the professors too? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, sure. You know what, Casey? If you want to do that, go ahead and let me see what kind of roll I'd do for it. Okay. Remember, uh, not even bluff, because you're not even bluffing anything. Um, I would say, you know, give me, a perfor- give me a performance check. Wait, performance? Yeah. I don't have any. <laughs> My ability modifier is like three. She has performance anxiety. <laughs> Just letting you know, he's currently looking at the table and not looking at you. Is there a way? Is there a way you can get him to look at you, or you're planning to like stand on his table, or what? Can I stand tie on the him. rope to him? <laughs> you want to tie the rope? To him? You know, <laughs> make sure. Are, are you wanting to do it sneakily? Yeah. Or are you wanting to do it obviously? Like, how how do you want to go about it? Ooh, what can I do? Like, Wait, hey, I how did all this rope get here? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. I- the spells that I can do right now are... You make a lasso. May, wait, Mage Hand, does that make sense? Mage Hand is a viable option. What you can do is Mage Hand... Can't, can't, it can't hold more than five pounds, but basically what it can do is it can use objects. So if you want to use a like floating magical hand oh, relatively close to you yeah. to use the rope and tie him up with it, you could do that. Or you can I don't slap think I want to use the rope again. Or... <laughs> Say what? <laughs> what? I just want Jenny break all of her rope. What? She's knitting. <laughs> it just flew across the room. I'm sorry. This is not related. Jenny just failed her use rope check. <laughs> um, if I have Mage Hand, I don't know if I necessarily want to use my rope. And maybe I should save that for another magic trick in the future. But what I'm like, to, okay, it's, it's just a time. hand. What are, what are you going to do without the rope? Okay, it's Mage Hand is, is like a floating hand. So what do you want to do to him with a floating hand? One of his beakers. The thing that he, whatever he's staring at intently, I was going to pick that up. He's holding it in his right hand. Can I not take it from him? You can attempt to, but Mage Hand isn't particularly strong, and and if he's holding it in his right hand, it's going to be incredibly difficult to but try and take it. He would probably notice a five pound resistance for it and would probably yes, acknowledge you, would. you know what? You do whatever you like. Just tell me what you're doing. <laughs> Bro's like, whatever. <laughs> is, is there anything else nearby that I could mage hand into his field of vision? Yes. Um, the entire table in front of him is co- is covered in various beakers of chemicals. I believe Starza just uh, took... Braza? Braza, thank you. Uh, just took various, like, has an entire... Collection of fluids. Case of fluids that he got at a five-finger discount at the store. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, can I mage hand one of those into the guy's field of vision? That's what I would like. I'd like to mage hand whichever one is phosphorescent. Which would so the most brightly colored liquid you want to put into his field of vision? Yes, Are you me. wanting to douse him in it? Are you no, wanting no, to? No. I just want him to see it and look up at us. Just notice me, goddamn it! <laughs> notice me. <laughs> you know what? What do I roll for? The spells you don't actually have to roll anything. You can actually automatically succeed for that one. Voice. So you're gonna use Mage Hand. You're gonna. Did you want to use one of Straza's? I'm gonna butcher your name each time. Chemicals, or did you want to use one from the table? Just one from the table. Good. Mine. <laughs> w- w- would you have resisted her? To- <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> what if I showed you a magic trick? <laughs> you don't want to see it. <laughs> As you're doing that, you float a beaker in front of him on the table. He looks, he's still looking down. He looks like he glances up at it for like a split second, but then just immediately goes back to his work. God, this guy is dense. This guy is is very focused right now. Can I show Adam? Do we need to talk to him? Is it important? Should we just run away with our kitten? You you could, that's your option. Shoot him with an arrow. You can if you want to. Very fast. In the knee. Wow, harsh. In the back of the knee? Because you you're, you're currently still facing holding work. a wolf, dude. <laughs> He's multitasking. He's the only one that can get anything done at the moment. Yeah. Wait, wait. What if we fart next to him? Okay, so... I fart in your general direction. <laughs> As you're pulling back an arrow on a bow, you guys hear a very loud thump sound coming from directly above you guys. Perfect. 
Can we go up? Define up. Well, above us. Yes. There the, the, there's a ceiling above you. Is there, there a staircase? It's, it's, rough, it's roughly 20, 25 feet high. There's no staircase that you see. It's just a ceiling. Staircase before the front door. There, there is. Oh, sorry, sorry. So there's, there's a staircase one room back. But I'm saying not directly up to you guys. Should we go um, back and then go upstairs? As you guys are looking up and arguing, you hear three more thumps coming directly from above you. And you guys see a, a small amount of light is coming from the ceiling. We should, I'm down. Let's go. We should get out of this room. I, I'm with Jeffy. I feel like we need to GTFO. I think so. Is it natural light or, uh, or I have a kitten. artificial light? Uh, you, you want to investigate it? You want, give me a give me a um, give, give me a spot check, Roxas. Uh, okay, let me just uh, check what I need to do for that. Meanwhile, breaking for the door. Okay, Jeffy's character is running towards the door. Where do you find spot checks? I'm just curious. On your character sheet, under skills, Definitely. first page on the right hand side. I have a, I have a wow. <laughs> spot check of eight. Woo! Yeah, you, uh, as, a, as, a, as a ranger, you, you have amazing Wait. spot. It's just so good. It's very helpful. My spot says uh, wisdom seven equals three plus four. Does that mean I have a plus seven on that? Yes, you have a plus seven. Okay. Cool. That's legit. So we should follow Raph's yeah. advice is what I'm hearing. Roxas is investigating upwards. What was the device? Is it a d20? D20 plus 7. Roxas is staring at the caving in ceiling. Ryan, did you just roll? No. <laughs> is it really caving in? <laughs> Roxas, you believe the voice of God is coming down and is about to talk to you. That's a you are sure you've seen this before? It was just like the dream you had last night. <laughs> Can I roll a spot check now? <laughs> yes. We should uh, stay. God and- is here. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Ryan, you were in that dream. You're pretty sure it was the same one, and you saw Rox in your dream. Sorry, you saw a cat in your dream. <laughs> what are you okay. standing around for? The ceiling is caving in. Oh, you hear the- more thumps. Go. Wait, where do you find the um, spot check? Anyone else want to do a spot First check? First page on the bottom right. Mine is one, so don't think we should. <laughs> Wait, the spot. I've got is plus. collapsing. Okay. Let's go. This is cross up. This is as you're doing that. Of you hear four thumps and then a kaboosh sound <laughs> as a figure humanoid drops from the ceiling. Is it God? It, it, you guys, uh, the, two of your party members think it is. <laughs> I've got a pr- plus four on mine. Can I spot check? You can, if you like can to. Can you tell me how to do it again? Okay, do you see on your character sheet? No, no, no. I know it's a plus four, but I don't know how to do the slashes. Oh, okay. Um, you want forward slash roll, R-O-L-L, space, D20, plus four. Enter. Woo! <laughs> okay. Jenny notices a... <clears throat> My name is Sneaky Pete. Sorry, Sneaky Pete, thank you. <laughs> notices a, I would say, an aristocratic clothing man drop from the ceiling. Wait, I know, I know the aristocrats. Hold on, I have, I have this, um, I, I have this, uh, <laughs> I have knowledge of nobility plus five. Can I talk to this man? Give me one second before you do. <laughs> That's awesome, Jen. Yeah. Um, he falls down about here. He looks like D'Artagnan. Uh, three Musketeers. Yes. Um, he has a very large hat with a feather in it. Um, oh, he's Yankee Doodle. He, he yeah. falls with his back to you guys, and all right now, all he can see right now is a store merchant. <laughs> <sighs> Who, after dropping down, he uh, dusts himself off, takes very special care to readjust the feather in his hat. He does a tuck and roll where he does a roll forward to get just underneath the merchant and uppercuts him with his left hand. Ooh. And the merchant flies into the into the corner 
does a spin and falls down to 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 the to the floor. He doesn't look like he's getting up at the moment. He might be unconscious, but you guys can't tell from this distance. Can I go get his beaker of stuff? Let's see. He was holding it as he flew. He dropped it. Uh, I actually have to see if it broke or not. One sec. It landed. It did not break. It landed on the ground, but it looks like half the contents are spilling out currently onto the floor. Can, can I, I grab? Yeah, go ahead. Can you can just you can just actually just walk up and pick it up if you like. Okay. Yeah. I, know holding it. I want to yeah. talk to the dashing young gentleman. I'm right here. That's heresy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So after doing so, he dusts himself off a second time, turns around, notices your entire group, and oh, and winks at me. That's it. Let's him? see. No, you can't shoot him. I'm gonna talk to him. He pivots, uh, he draws his uh, rapier. Points it at the group and kind of says in a su- surprised voice, "You guys are the strangest group of Sylvan alchemists I've ever seen." The strangest group of what? Sylvan Sil- alchemists. Sylvan alchemists. Yeah. I respond, "You should get out more." <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I can translate that. He, he, he kind of look looks at you with a with like one eyebrow raised and he's like i've been around the world uh, i've seen many a thing and but I'll, I'll, I'll give you guys this one chance you guys can give up now and i won't have to call on my backup he kind of he lifts his uh, head raised into the air and looks up at the hole in the ceiling that is coming down any second now so he's he, like totally bluffing <laughs> i uh, give up no, I want to make out with him. <laughs> <laughs> Can I talk to him? You have to yeah, ask. I'm going to talk to him to first. Book. <laughs> just, just like any, there's, yeah, there's, no, there's no for non-combat situations. You guys are currently not in combat. There's no order for whoever wants to do things. It's whoever wants to talk oh, first. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what if we all want to kiss him at once? But I, I have the nobility... I you know what? To- if everyone draws you at the same time, then I'll have you all <laughs> roll initiation check to see who gets there first. Who gets to kiss him first? Actually, probably, yeah. Well, totally you gotta agility. talk him up first. Can I go chit chat with the with the sexy man with the feather? So yeah, you school. just want someone who can read. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like someone who can read, and he doesn't know I have a cat in my shirt. <laughs> Is Jeffy's character still leaving the room? Is Straza still leaving the room? Um, kind of. I guess I'll double back. No one else okay. seemed to have followed. <laughs> I still think we should shoot him. Can I use my nobility knowledge? Your what? Sure. Knowledge. What, okay, what, how do what, I use that? what are you trying to discern? I want to know who he is. Okay. Have knowledge, nobility specifically, or just knowledge? I have knowledge of nobility, my friend. Cool. G- give me that roll. It's a five. It's a plus five, or it's a d20 plus? It, I don't know. How would one know that? By rolling. Oh, oh, I gotta roll first. Yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, rolling. Flash roll. No, roll. Un- space. D20 plus five. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo. Uh, you get the idea, based on his clothes, that he's high upper class. You get the idea that he's... You don't see any distinguishing marks or, or, or uh, insignias or anything, so you get the idea that he's probably not with a specific group that you would know, but the way he holds himself, you, you get the idea that he's... Noble. Yeah, but you also you also get the idea that he's not from this area because of his... Foreign accent? <laughs> yes. <laughs> sexual promiscuity? Yeah, yeah, sexual orientation, sure. No, um... Let's... Can just... He knows that we're not Sylvan um, alchemists. He Sorry. should know that we are not Sylvan alchemists. You guys definitely don't look like Sylvan alchemists. Yes, but he called us that. Yes, he did. So he thought we were... Because I speak Sylvan, and in my possession, I have an alchemy textbook. <laughs> yeah, you just carried around. You know, that's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> Casey, is it being displayed right now? I don't know what that means. Do I have to take it out? Do you, do you have it out, is what I'm asking. Uh, she does I don't now. Think I did, but I can take it out right now. That this is me purely asking. I'm not saying it'll be beneficial or not beneficial to you. I think <laughs> you should just sit down in the middle of the floor and start reading her book. 
<laughs> you do whatever you like. Yeah, I like to display it. You want to display your alchemy book. Okay. <laughs> so so he has his, his sword drawn to you, so you pull out your alchemy book and you, you're like waving up in front of his face. Like, what, what do you... I speak silly. <laughs> in my mind, I you're like a super nerd. <laughs> so hold on. Hold on, peeps. I think that the guy who was the uh, one that he hit is a Sylvan alchemist. So I don't think we want to be associated with Sylvan alchemy. But can we just like, take over the shop hey. and have a nice life? <laughs> oh, so what are you doing here? Can I ask him that, what he's doing oh, here? He, he says, what am I doing here? Yeah, I'm with the Pillaging enter uh, Enterprises uh, with Traveling Associates. And uh, we're, I got a tip on this area that uh, Sylvan alchemists were defiling uh, the, the land in this area. And uh, I've been paid handsomely to uh, uh, bring them to justice. I toss my alchemy textbook to Sneaky Pete. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to hold it. Sneaky Pete. Sneaky Pete. <laughs> Sneaky Pete. Make a reflex check. Wait, on the top left of your character, is <clears throat> reflex. Wait, for me? Yep, you got a book being thrown at you. Okay, wait, so top <laughs> top left? Yep. It says reflex. reflex. It says six, and then three, and then three. Roll to 20 plus six for me. Okay. I'm holding a cat. You threw a book at me? <laughs> <laughs> Technically, the cat's holding you, but... <laughs> Maybe Wait, the cat can where was the it. underscore again? There's an underscore. Flash, roll, space. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. 20 plus 6. Damn it. <laughs> Pillaging Enterprises with Traveling Associates. Uh, PETA for sure. I like that. <laughs> so, 19. Like so are you wanting to catch it or are you wanting to dodge it? Well, obviously, I want to catch it and then pretend that I know how to read so this guy doesn't think I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, you catch it easily out of the air. Uh, you, I guess you you flip it open to a page and start reading. <laughs> well, Are you silently. Up loud? Uh, silently or loud? I don't know how to read, bro. <laughs> You mumble and pretend. I mean, you can easily you could give me a roll of bluff, and I could you could totally say whatever you want. Oh my gosh, I love this plan. How do you bluff? Okay, hold on. Oh, I've got a seven. Let's do it. <laughs> this is how Jenny married her husband. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know I can't read. <laughs> wow, that's impressive. Uh, what do you want to be saying? A love poem. In the <laughs> like textbook. Is it working? <laughs> you start. You know what? Sure, give me a perform check to see how well it does. How do you do a form check? Perform. Oh, it's, perform. I hope he likes cats. <laughs> Wait, no. How do you do? How do you do that? It'll be performance down at the bottom right. Use rope. No. Magic device. Profession. Perform. Oh, I don't have. I don't have any skills. You don't, you don't have to. You can, it's, it's just a roll d twenty. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, the, the, it was a very decent love song. He he, he do, does seem taken aback by it, but he's still pointing the sword at you guys. I would like um, to approach the gentleman. <laughs> but it's okay. wavering. Do you think he might be confused? <laughs> he might be a little confused. But why it's he's from like, an alchemy textbook? He, he, he looks up toward the top of the thing and he's like, my backup should be coming down any moment. Uh, you hear a uh, soft shout back from the top of the ceiling of, we are out of rope. Casey's got oh, um. <laughs> As I approach the gentleman, I drop my hood and I say, excuse me, I am the Lady Aristraza of the noble house of Ivanovich. You may genuflect in my presence. May what? What was that Bow. last one? Bow. Genuflect. Got it. Okay, genuflect. On your knees, peasant. That's what I just said. <laughs> That's what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, we are not Sylvan alchemists. You may proceed with your business, but you will stow your sword or you will find an arrow in your gut. Very well. 
your your request seems most reasonable. I, he puts away his sword. He's a little hesitant, but he he seems to do it. I put my hood back up and step away. He looks back up to the top of the pit, and he's like, "If we're out of rope, just use the red carpet." Even to me. <laughs> oh yeah, you still have your bow drawn. I do. You still have your bow drawn, some guy. Maybe you're antagonizing him, Brian. Put that shit away. <laughs> Maybe you're antagonizing him with forced love poems. He loves it. <laughs> you can't read. <laughs> Which means you must have memorized this one. I made it up. My she heart is pure. We should give him some rope. Yeah. Casey has a one. <laughs> okay. We might need that. Oh. Well, now you have to give some of it. We should them. tell them that we have rope. I can bluff, but also actually have rope. <laughs> So let me get this straight. <laughs> Brian still has his bow trained on him, but wants to give him rope. Casey has rope, but wants to Oh, I can lie about it. He has no rope. I can, I can put my bow away now that he has his sword away. He can leave okay. his sword. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I only caught part of that, but I'm pretty sure I understood. Jim, your character is very promiscuous. <laughs> He needs a hobby. <laughs> Maybe he should take up knitting. He can't read and write, so I mean, only one eye is crying. <laughs> it's my favorite character ever. <laughs> I mean, maybe you should boast, you know, tell him the size of your peen, right? It's nine and a half inches uncut. Uncut, yeah. Certain. That's it. <laughs> it's on my character card. It's one of the most important parts of your character. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> After a few moments, uh, another shout from above says, uh, I forgot the red carpet. Well, I think they're in as much trouble as we are. <laughs> looks back yeah. up and he's like, Silver, if I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times, never forget the red carpet. Can I shake his hand? Uh, sure, are you offering your hand? I am. I've always put away, I'm offering my hand and saying hi. He goes, hi, uh, what's your name? Aragorn, had to look at that. He says, Aragorn, nice to meet you. I am Valatinaz, Alcanazero, Zifak, Shushio, Bam, uh, Joheres, Gambi Gobella, Blue Stradivari, Tiant, Talent Tint, Pierre, Andri, Chartan, Hemos, Invienci, Bulbus, George, Dolto, Kaiser III. You may call me Pierre. <laughs> Actually, the rest of you may call me Pierre, too. But then she, he, 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 he points at, uh, no, he points at Landon, except for you, you must use my full name. <laughs> Why? He's, he says that to Landon. Why? Why did he say that? Uh, he says it with a hint of a smile. It might be an unknown joke, or he could be potentially racist. Or he's, or he's flirting. flirting. Or he's flirting. Oh, no. Landon. Oh, Hi. <laughs> It's always terrible when your mom steals your boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> what what kind of a thing are you, mom? What is your what are you? <laughs> <laughs> I am a cleric rock gnome. I'm pretty pretty okay. You're pretty it's hard okay. To compete with short with short people. All right, Casey. What? I have a <laughs> Wait, you should offer them rope. They seem like nice people. You just say that you want to get into his pants. Well, yeah. Can I give Jenny, like, 50 feet of rope to give to them? Sure. To, 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 them, to, to him. To him. To, to slay her, mm -hmm. slay him in her favor? Yeah. P.S. Sure. I would like to do that very much. Thank you. How do I cut the rope? Do you have any sharp object on you? I'm pretty certain I have a knife. I have a sword. Pretty sure, like I half have, of you have sharp I have sharp knives a lot. I have a dagger too. Uh, what kind of rope? Is it silk rope? Um, I have a crazy hand axe. You do. You could cut the rope with that. They're, they're Would you like me to cut the rope, Casey? Oh, Bobby, it's hemp. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, I would like for you to cut the rope, Mom. Okay. I'm cutting the rope for Casey, wherever Casey is. Or, sorry, I, or I for your I also have a painting of Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> That's true. I remember that. that. No, it's sacred. <laughs> okay, she so kept I'm it in her locker a lot when, when she was at wizarding school, but uh, 
you know, she has to take it with her. Okay, Casey, I cut your rope. Okay, I gave the rope to Pierre. He looks at it and then says, thank you very much. Thank you kindly. And Literally any time. He seems to be looking at the, uh, looking around a little bit, spots a unused beaker, ties a piece of the rope to it, and chunks it right toward the opening. Does it shatter? Oh, no. Yeah, really. Last beaker. Opening, what opening? And the ceiling. Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, it, it was a metal beaker he, he had. Hey, I still think mm. I want to worship him. Oh, <laughs> he gets on the first try. He goes right th- up through. Um, you hear an oof at the top. And he says, good catch. Just just tie it off to a nearby tree, he says. Tree? After... Tree? Tree. Tree upstairs. Interesting. Is it because we're underground? You guys are underground. Hmm. Hmm. Can I use my jump to jump up there? Like, you, you could use your climb to climb up the rope. It would probably be easier. Uh, I didn't think of that. <laughs> <laughs> I wish... Oh, wait, Bobby. I, feel like I mean, you know, if, if you want to try and just jump straight 25 feet up through the hole, you know what? Go ahead and run me a jump check. I mean, I got like a plus four jump. Go Please. ahead. Let, let me see. And how tall are you, Aaron? Uh, I'm 5'11". Well, you know, it's about a 20 foot jump. You know, if you want to, go ahead, roll me a jump check. I'm gonna do the. I'm gonna roll my climb because I realize it is the same. So, can I you climb would, up there? Yes, you can. Will that affect anyone else? Well, I mean, you're carrying a wolf. <laughs> oh, <laughs> true. I forgot about that. You will take a, a a slight negative to try and climb. <laughs> I'm tired of wolf. So I need a d20 plus four to try and climb up there. Oh, uh, let me think. I don't even know how you have to give me a sec. We were just, I can do it with a wall. He's That's doing the calculations. Hold on. <laughs> we were just explaining how, like, trying to act out in real life what you do in the game, like we did with Mom and Half Life, and how that's okay. difficult. Go ahead and roll it for me. Big money. Big money. You get about a couple feet off the ground. You misjuggle your your giant carcass and end up dropping it. Oh, Brian. The carcass or me? Just the carcass. You're still on the rope, but you're only a couple feet up. <laughs> like two. Five feet. <laughs> I feel like we're all just watching him struggle. Okay. I walk back down and pick up the carcass. Pierre just looks back and forth between the carcass and the rope and you and just, it seems, just has no words. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty certain I'm good at climbing. It's true. Hey, you die if you get up there? Climb. Oh, I'm not good at climbing. I'm not going to do it. What's your climb? I don't know. It does zero, and I don't want to fail in front of him. Oh, my climb is negative. I should probably not try either. <laughs> my climb is negative one, too. Okay. Also. Just remember, you guys do have an easy pathway to leave the bunker at any point in time that would go to the outside. If it's oh. from above you, it would be relatively easy to... Uh... Is there... Can I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go in and inspect the guy in the corner. Can I go do that? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Do you have a... I think there's a medic check. I forgot. Um, I have heal. I have yeah. heal plus five. Um, you, if you, you can use your heal to inspect him, or you can use your heal to heal him. What should you like? Oh. Well, I feel like I'd rather just heal him rather than inspect him. I'm going to do one of the two. Do you have any type of bandages or any other type of medical care to be able to provide to him? Like PPE? I have studded, studded leather protective gear. Yes, so, that's armor. I have a pillow. <laughs> so guys, you, the, you the problem have the, with he can sumo wrestle him. You could use the pillow the to euthanize him. But that's oh, really help I can. Uh, I have a toothbrush. If he would have very clean teeth, I do Mom, not think that would help. What are you trying to say? Um, I, the problem with trying to heal him is, remember, he's the one who put these critters at risk and dying, and he's doing all these horrible experiments, and I don't know that, and this other guy is close, trying to be our friend-ish. I don't know that we should, I think we should kind of just not necessarily, I, unless we can think of something that we can get from him, but he's already put us in the category of these sylvan uh, alchemists, and that's not a good category. So I don't think he's even seen us yet, to be honest. No, I understand. You know, I, bet, I mean, I stab him. 
She might have a gift card on him for other store purchases. No, I'll skip you. <laughs> You could you could heal him, and then we could have a the, part of Casey's rope to tie him up if he starts to get. Hey Jenny, there's a, a ride. There's a ride check. So you could you could ride <laughs> here. Yes, I'm just gonna be like, <laughs> take me up the rope, <laughs> or tie me up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Brian's like everything I want to do, I can't do. Ooh, ooh, can I do a listen check for the people up up top? Sure, they're not currently saying anything, but you, you give me a listen check. Perfect. I'd love to do this. I have, <laughs> I have a seven listen. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Listening good. Oh, so I can do everything. You, you do. Um, you, it sounds like, based on things you've heard previously, like maybe someone's tying a rope around a tree. Oh, perfect. You hear shuffling. You don't hear the greatest amount of sounds. You get the idea that there's not many people up there. Maybe like one or two or three, but like very few noises up there. Does anyone have like an intention check? Is that such a thing? Yes, yes it's called sense motive. Sense motive. Ooh. Do that. I've got a plus six. Do it. Wow, nice. you might what, are you, what are you trying to sense? I have a ten. No, no, I have a one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, since I want to Jeffy, know what Jeffy, what's your what's your sense motive? Five. Well, let's both do it. W what are you guys trying trying to discern? His what motive. Is, his intention. Or, uh, for on whether on whether he says he is what he what he says he is, or if he's if he means you guys harm, or if you like do one of each for both of you guys. Yeah. You go first, Jeffy, because okay. if you get the right answer, I'm going to ask him what his motives tell, are. Tell me, tell me what you're looking for. I, I am not particularly doubting him in any way at this point, so I have no reason to do such a thing. Oh, can I sense his motives towards me then? Sure. Are, are, are you wanting to know whether he's been truthful so far? Are you wanting to know if he's been trying to mean you harm? Or you just want to know if you think he has romantic feelings for you? Um, I meant the last one, but we could use it for, like... <clears throat> no, the last one? Okay, I'm gonna do it. I wanna know if he likes me. <laughs> You're gonna get the cold hard truth right now. <laughs> I got the impression Bro did not plan for this. You know, he likes you know what? I did not plan this. We got plenty of line for tonight if this goes south. <laughs> but I guess that's where you want it. When I know. cry myself to sleep. Yeah. I was like, weirdly. <laughs> you don't get the feeling that he's romantically particularly interested in you, but you get the idea that maybe he seems to have a weird respect for your love songs. Oh, okay, I'll take it. Thanks, I'm guys. On you. Oh, my God. <laughs> and the um, and, and based on your demeanor, he, he sees you, he, he could potentially see you as being a friend. Oh, okay. I'll take it, you guys. <laughs> guys, throwing the book down on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You're still holding the book. Do you ever want to give that back to Casey? Or <laughs> oh, I would no. like that, please, and thank you. What's Casey gonna give me for it? <laughs> oh, so you can impress your student. Can I have my damn book? Yeah, back? I have the book back. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, Jenny, better roll the decipher back. script. <laughs> <laughs> Not as good as my bluff, though, because I can't read. <laughs> it's in common, too. My, my textbook, anyone should be able to read it. I can't read. After a few moments, it looks like a yeah, second character starts to shimmy down the rope. What's he look like? Can I shoot him on the way down? <laughs> <laughs> in what way do you want to screw him? Are you, are you wanting to be sexually interested him with him on the way down, or are you just going to, like, cut the rope or something? <laughs> that was actually perfect. The uh, cat underneath Jenny's uh, shirt meows. Whose cat was that? That was our cat. Oh. See, it's out of the shirt now. <laughs> Is that guy down? Is he coming down the road? He's coming down as soon as I get his picture up. One sec. Are we mm. coming down the road? Like leaking out my right eye. So oh, this guy, she's down. I was descending. Is he a gnome? He, he is a gnome. Up to the world. Oh. 
<laughs> Do you like the picture? Thank you. Uh, Pierre looks down and he's like, Silver, you bit, you took forever. Are there not enough trees up there? Silver just gives him a look and then he gives him the finger as well. Someone's getting fingered by me. He kind of <laughs> looks around and goes, what the fuck is going on down here? <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> um, well... <City> store. <laughs> We were investigating these apparent sylvan alchemists when your friend rather rudely accosted us. <laughs> I feel like Jeffy's the only adult. Light interrogation. <laughs> it's the reverse of real life. Um, <laughs> Silver kind of looks around. Takes a few step backs towards Pierre. Bar brawl. See, so turns back to Pierre. Did we get what we came for? Pierre nods enthusiastically um, and goes into the corner and starts dragging the unconscious shopkeeper. Uh, <laughs> Wait, who is that that you are dragging? Yes, I'm asking who Pierre who he is. And he's like Sylvan Alchemist that we get our bounty for. And what on earth is a Sylvan Alchemist? Uh, he's like, I don't know, it's on the paper. <laughs> I don't read the paper, it says we get money for it. So yeah. are you just some mischievous... Okay are you just some miscreant going around killing everyone who's on a piece of paper? No, I'm a bounty hunter! So yes? So yes! <laughs> <laughs> so west. Uh, what was the beaker you threw up there, Pierre? It's like it was a metal beaker I found on the table. Looked weighty enough, seems to work. It probably had some thing in it, but uh, it worked as weight. Ah, so it's just for throwing your rope up, huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, what else would I use it for? Why don't you Why don't you toss the uh, um, carcass on top of the... <laughs> He's going to have to go up the other thing. <laughs> he, can, he can haul your wolf for you. That's my carcass. <laughs> Yes, but you had both taken it up the, the rope. <laughs> Maybe we should go out there and check out his gang. Or should we open up all the rest of the crates? We could show him the cat. <laughs> <laughs> These are all options. Yeah, Jenny, show us your kitties. <laughs> <laughs> show your love interest your kitty. Yeah, I lift like up your shirt and show us your kitties. She doesn't like me like that, you guys. <laughs> but there's a second guy in the room now. Oh, my love is not that fickle, Brian. <laughs> um, I don't want to show him the cat because I don't trust him. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You, you, you love him, but you don't trust him? Yeah. Look at a marriage. <laughs> I love how it's like, that's not fickle. <laughs> it's safe, you guys. <laughs> Does he know there's a cat? He heard a meow, but he but does Ross not. covered, right, and started making lots of meowing noises? Uh, uh, <laughs> did he? Meow, <laughs> meow. He, he does not seem to realize you have a cat underneath you. He thinks there might be a cat in the room. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> um. I think we should open up the gates. I think, I think Aragorn had a great idea. Uh oh, what? <laughs> okay, cool. Whoever wants to open up crates, give me a search check. Oh, a what check? Search. All right, where's my search? Oh, plus one. All right, I'm rolling a search. I like crates. Are there multiple crates? There's, there, there's multiple crates in the room. Many look to be empty. I'll open one. Okay. Ooh. Nice. Aragorn, um, Aragorn, uh, in one of the crates looks to be some rudimentary supplies, looks to be like old rags and clothing and a small amount of rations. We'll take that shit. What about the others? Landon, uh, finds nothing. <laughs> yes, but I have a beaker full of half. That's true. Liquid. Are you going to drink it? Um, no. 
Braza. Chug, 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 chug. Shots, 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 shots. you find looks to be about a pouch of 20 gold coins. Oh. And a well worn ring. Can we take all this? Ring worn? Yeah. Yes, ring. ring. Yes, correct. What kind of ring? A well worn one. <laughs> Question. Um, it looks like it's. it's uh, looks like it was a silver band of some kind. It, it looks very, it looks very well used. It doesn't have a, any ornaments or anything on it. it. Just seems circular. Question. Yeah. Silver, and Mom's character are they the same creature type? Um, they're both gnomes. Mother's character is a rock gnome. Uh, silver does not seem to be a rock gnome. Okay, um, but is the hot guy friends with Silver? Yep. And he made a weird comment about mom. Correct. Makes me think that he probably likes gnomes. That is an option. And it's not gnome racist. That would seem reasonable. Flirty. So is he flirting with mom? You know what? Give me a sense. Give me a sense about it. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah I do. That actually seems like it'd be like worthwhile for other people to know. <laughs> you are to know or to know. <laughs> I think my sense motive was plus six, right? I think it was. Wow. Cool. <laughs> well, we're gonna know. Um, you get the we're idea that know. he was bantering with him, but you don't think it's romantic. Well, thank God for that. <laughs> you saw the chance. You're welcome. I'm asking Silver, where is he from? He says, uh, from way up north, from uh, the Rocky Mountains of Garraford. Hmm. And why why are you doing bounty work now? Pays the bills. Hey guys, you want you want people to join our tribe? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> Time will tell, Jenny. <laughs> are, are you inviting them? I I won't invite them until the whole tribe decides they want to. I think we have to, right? <laughs> <laughs> this game is never about have to. <laughs> it seems like we should because they seem nice. <laughs> you wanted to sleep with one. I still do. And there's, he's uh, actually, you know, a strong protector type in case we need a strong protector type. That's it. Everyone who wants them to join the party, raise their hand. Sneaky Pete might raise another appendage. <laughs> it's already there, friend. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. This is such a weird character, but I like him a lot. <laughs> As you guys are arguing whether or not <laughs> they, they should join you, Silver and Pierre, I'll look back. No reason to stick around here. Uh, let's keep going. They start uh, wandering westward. This way. <clears throat> Dragging the uh, shop. We should, we should follow them. I think we should follow them also. That's it. To the ends of the earth. <laughs> Pierre. Yes. You will tell no Turns. one you saw me here today. No worries. I've already forgotten your name. <laughs> and <they're> yours. <laughs> no, it's Straza. Ah, yes, of course. I'll never forget that I've forgotten. Wait, should we steal anything? Is there anything Everything. else we should take? Can we take it all? I mean, you guys... You guys you, there's still alchem alchemic potions on, on the lab table. There's still... Can I do a steal all? <laughs> Take all. <laughs> oh, can I do search, but search room and find out everything that's in there to take it? You want to, everything that's not bolted down, you want in your inventory. Like the cell anything. doors that have fallen off, you want to put that in your backpack? Those type Bobby, of things? Bobby, clearly that won't fit in the backpack. He's going to put them in the wolf. <laughs> Very, um, what is that, that animal in Star Wars tauntaun. that dies? Yeah. Get a whole tauntaun full of stuff. Yes. 
like that, like a tan tan purse. Uh, um, let's see. <laughs> Nazanirk, are you taking the journals you have in your hands? Uh, I am taking them, but first ripping out the pages that seem uninteresting or are totally blank and make, and make some paper airplanes. Paper airplanes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure, you do so. <laughs> um, how are you judging whether they seem unimportant or not? Uh, based on how neatly everything is written. <laughs> Can I roll okay. this room for anything of value? You get the idea that there's not the greatest amount in this room, but you're welcome to if you want to. Yeah, just in case there's some money. Yep. Or something. You're like cool. really aggressive and money driven in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Says the person chasing dick. Someone's gotta be, everyone else. <laughs> Uh, you have seen no other items that I have mentioned that I haven't mentioned yet. Yeah. Perfect. Do I really want to show off his skills? You really want to show off your penis? <laughs> I really want to show off my knowledge. <laughs> no, you don't. You want to toss your knowledge to, to Sneaky Pete. Uh, show off off. I thought that might get me killed. Then I, then I wanted to ruin Sneaky Pete's chances. <laughs> I have read him a poem, bitch. <laughs> Is this one here? Yeah, that's how we followed it. Oh. To the store. <laughs> um, it's called an apothecary. <laughs> um, as you go out, you guys uh, notice a uh, handwritten note by the fire. It just has one word on it. It just says sorry, but it's misspelled. It only has one R. Wait, did I write it? <laughs> Do you remember writing it? No. <laughs> then you probably didn't write it. Okay. Can I do some investigative role? What are you trying to investigate? What it is. Who wrote it? Why? Sure. Roll it for me. Um, give me a... Yeah, do you have an investigation? Do you have... I have Intimidate. Nope. <laughs> Are you intimidating a paper? <laughs> I can just see you, like, Tell shaking so hard. I, actually... I would accept Decipher Script. I would accept uh, Gather Information. I would accept... I have none of these X'd on my skill sheet. Wait, I have Gather Information. Ooh. I have six. Ooh, do it, do it. Roll it. Can I do that? Sure. Okay, so D20 plus six? Yep. My first roll. Useful. <laughs> Woo! Casey, you get the idea that uh, based on the lack of spelling and the how quickly it was written and that you haven't really heard any sounds nearby, you get the idea that it was probably done by the three bandits slash squatters you guys found when you first came in. Oh. Gotcha. Why'd they say sorry? Probably well, they attacked you and you know, oh. I don't think they hit anything. <laughs> but then you guys kind of let them off the hook. So, they wanted no hard feelings. Okay. Just the impression you guys got. Cool, cool. cool. Okay. Casey. For the teleportation circles here, you remember that you have a professor that would in the... In the university? Yeah. That okay. would probably have knowledge of these, but... You only have a rough description of what they look like. Is there anything you want to do? What language would this professor speak? Multiple languages, probably. Like primordial ignorance? <laughs> That's possible. Uh, let's see. I have knowledge of Arcana. Mm -hmm. I, wait, maybe I can use a spell to speak to this person? Uh, I don't think you know in a spell like that yet. No, I don't. Need magic light mage hand. If you wanted to travel there, it was roughly a ten day journey north to the main city there. I would not like to leave the, the group. Right. So if you wanted to go there, you'd probably have to convince the group. Oh, to convince the group that they right. that we should go hang out with my professor and get that information about the teleportation circles? That is your option. Oh. Can I Bluff the group. Do you want to bluff or tell the truth? What do you, what do you want to say? Did you just ask? 
I have a bluff skill, it'd just be wrong not to use it, right? Yeah, hey guys. This guy that I uh, went to university oh, with. Oh, this guy, huh? This guy. I think, okay, I'm just going to appeal to everyone. Is it cute for Jenny? I have to <laughs> say that my professor is very attractive. I think, I guys, think Sneaky Pete will like him. No, I'm nursing no. a broken heart. I guarantee the best way to get o- over a broken heart is to get under my professor. <laughs> <laughs> you would know. <laughs> How do you think she got an A in the class? Yeah, um, and then for Aragorn, I think that there are likely to be a lot of people to shoot along the way. But, <laughs> like, uh, but, what is the point of this visit? Uh, of course, to obtain the knowledge so that we can be the first to utilize these teleportation circles. Can Nontoner you... just throw a pebble inside one of the circles? While she's talking. I mean, you guys have walked in the circles. Oh, whoops. I think that we would not be the first. You think that we, maybe we can bring the good of the servants to the community to increase your nobility, Straza? My nobility is a deeply guarded secret. I used it because I had to. You will tell no one. <laughs> I will tell lots of people unless you come to my professor. <laughs> By, by the way, are you trying to intimidate her with that? Was that a threat? I think so. That's a promise. Oh, got it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think that I, I don't I don't know what motivates you in this game, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I promise I'll actually mail your package. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I thought that went in a completely different direction, so. No, but the, the parcel that I keep haven't sent yet that I've been promising for months now. Because I have to fix it first because I broke it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't I don't I don't know if I've convinced everyone. <laughs> uh can Knontoner try uh, looking inside the journals for clues about the magic circles that are right outside of this room? The journals, sure. the journals only can seem to contain dates and various rough descriptions of uh, experiments. It does not seem to have anything to do with transportation circles that you think. Might there be anything in the room back there that might have anything to do with those? You guys have searched it fairly thoroughly. <laughs> All right, let's go visit Casey's professor. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Okay, but if we do this, Brian is going to have to carry that carcass the entire way. And that, right? That's true. Wait, because we're getting money. It might be an idea to go to the town of Dibs that's just like a day and a half journey south, turn in your wolf carcass, maybe turn it into a pelt beforehand. Uh, (laughs) Um, Wait, can we set it down? That's it, you can leave it and come back for it later. Who knows? Let's go take it in real quick. Wouldn't it rot while we're away? Yes, it would. Let's go take it in real quick. So I have to stop carrying this carcass. <laughs> it's, it's getting in the way of your rope climbing abilities. So yes. we return the wolf and get paid, and then we visit the professor. Yes. Do we have anything to feed the cat? <laughs> um, you have various <laughs> rations. You probably have like nuts and jerky and um. Nuts? What cat eat nuts? I'm saying what you have. You're looking to feed it whatever. Fuck you, Cat doesn't eat. <laughs> Do we still get the full amount of gold if we turn in part of a wolf carcass? If we don't convince them that it's magic meat. <laughs> wait, wait. What about if we uh, take just the head of the wolf and we feed the body to the cat? Why? Let's just take the carcass to the cat. Oh my god. The only thing that that was a perfect thing because the only thing the people at the town needed was the pelt. So if we skin the wolf and give keep the meat, we can use it for the cat. It's a great idea. Does anyone know how to skin wolf? Of course. It's a learning process. <laughs> I have a crazy hand <laughs> There's more than one way to skin a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> I believe Brian's character might have either tanning skill or what? What would you have? You had 
Didn't you have like leather armor making skills, so you therefore you'd know how to skim? Um. Well, those are two different uh, mm. rodeos. Have not a clue. I have survival. That sounds similar. I also have survival. You know what? Yeah, if you want, you can give me a survival check to see if you can skin it if you want to. Hide. Oh, that's a different kind of hide. Do, do you have a sharp object to do it with? <laughs> I have a dagger, a short bow, and a long sword. You're welcome to choose any of those. Some will be much easier than others. Probably I think the not the bow. I don't recommend the bow. And you know what? I am wearing my lucky underwear. <laughs> that's good. I uh, say so your only underwear. Well, I'm, I imagine it's probably the only one I have oh, in my pocket. Yeah. We're going to make some out of wolf skin. <laughs> one second. Let me do a survival plus four. No, you just wow. rolled 20 plus four. You didn't actually roll a what? dice. Oh. <laughs> it looks a lot more impressive like that. <laughs> I like that number, though. I think we should just stick with that. <laughs> D20 plus four. That's what I meant to do. Slightly less impressive, but after you know, like half an hour of work, you, you get it off. It seems, it seems fairly decent connection. You're actually kind of proud of it, you know? I will put it in my pack. Woo! After you've done so, you know, your hands feel a lot lighter. It's like a great burden has been lifted from you. <laughs> but I will still need something in return for the meat. For this. That's true. Are, are you storing the meat somewhere in your, in your pack or just putting in? I'm holding it for right now. <laughs> okay, so you're still holding it. I'm holding it to see what someone wants to nicely do for me, seeing as I just did all this for a freaking cat. <laughs> Isn't not having to carry it its own reward? <laughs> <laughs> I love that Brian's all like super aggressive and like trying to attack everybody. And he's like, "Damn it, guys! I don't want to carry it anymore." <laughs> okay, I think we should sacrifice all of our meals and give it to the cat. <laughs> there. Wait, how big is this cat? <laughs> oh, this it's cat is just, It's like two <laughs> handfuls big right now. It's fairly small. It's a kitten. When it eats, does it grow? You get the Everything idea. Everything does. <laughs> Not immediately. <laughs> because you've met a full-size displacer beast, you have no reason to assume it will not grow to that size. But I mean, like, uh, immediately upon eating. I mean, give me a, no give me a knowledge nature check. Sure. Oh, I have that. No, I, I have a knowledge nature check. I might check. have that. I do. I have I do. plus seven on that. Oh, you roll it, not me. I don't have the zero. Nice. Woo. Yes, you get, you get the idea that it will grow to that size. Not <laughs> immediately, but looks. But my, but you, you feel like it would do so gradually over time. Um, you have like no reason to assume that it would do animals. it at an accelerated rate. You, you get the idea that this is like most animals. You don't know feeding it. Like, just makes it like, what? You've seen many animals eat things, and you know about how... <laughs> 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 like, you, you have so much experience in this area. <laughs> okay, so, so are, we, are we going back to the, to the town? Yes. Wait, wait, wait. I still I've haven't been convinced. And professor. That's true. And also, you haven't convinced Landon, have you? Casey? Well, yeah. it seems we are going to the town regardless, so unless someone wishes to split off. Isn't it a different town where the professor lives? Yes, it's, it's the town to the north where the professor lives. We could go to the town, get the wolf, you know, give the wolf, and then go to the professor. What if the town oh, is the mad at idea. us? <laughs> Curious, why do you think the town is mad at you, Jenny? Um, no reason. For anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> Past crimes? Well, let, me, let me rephrase. What have you done in the town recently? <laughs> Who hasn't she done in the town? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you should pass out flyers for this amazing shop you found. I can't write. <laughs> <laughs> You're very insensitive. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a picture of a terrible 
shop. <laughs> With an arrow pointing a direction. <laughs> I brought cramps. <sighs> okay. So I guess we'll go to the town. Briefly. Okay. So my question is, do we have enough gold to handle a journey straight there? And since we now only have a pelt and not a huge carcass, we can we can haul the pelt pretty easily. So, um, do we yeah. have enough gold? You, you guys have plenty of gold for rations to get you there. Um, it, if you're you can make that journey walking, or if you wanted to, you could. Pr you probably don't have enough money for horses for everyone. If you want to do it faster like that, but um, can I ride in the trunk of wait, the horse? Wait, 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 wait. We acquired two new people in our group here. Do they want to go to the town? You guys haven't asked them. We have not acquired anyone. It's true. Well, we you haven't even asked to. if they wanted to join the party yet. <laughs> <laughs> we just assume they do. <laughs> you guys are kind of following them. <laughs> but you guys have a different destination maybe in mind. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, um, um, Silva? Sneaky Pete. Yeah. Pete. You will join us, yes? Oh. They won't forget. Uh, so jo jo joining for what? I can do sleight of hand. I can Join do magic us. with them. In general. Oh. Are you paying us? We will get paid, and you will have a share of the pay. We did distract that Sylvan alchemist for you. <laughs> Wait, what? We distracted him, so you could uh, <laughs> uppercut him. <laughs> He's like, and I'm very grateful for that. But uh, we, we, so we you have, owe us. You already uh, took the spoils from the room. Is that is that not payment enough? Well, that's a different matter altogether. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! I've got diplomacy plus ten. Can I just tell them that I want them to come? No, no. I I want to do it because uh, I have diplomacy minus three or something. Wait, but that's that's terrible. Yeah, but my character really likes trying to be diplomatic. Okay, why don't you try, and then I'll try. <laughs> I'll I'll tell them that, uh, you know, out of all of the people here, our group only has one that smells like bloody meat. <laughs> <laughs> sure, roll me your diplomacy. <laughs> All the work, and I get shamed for it. <laughs> I feel like man. And don't kink shame, bosses. Oh, uh, honey. <laughs> as tempting as that offer sounds, I think we will decline. Hey, you like being no, 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 no. Okay, I would like to invite you formally to join our group. I promise not to sexually harass anyone in your party. And I think that you should join us for your merriment, your stories, and our very brief detour where we go get some gold. <laughs> they must do it. <laughs> Let's see, uh, where are you headed? Uh, where we started. It's hard to read. To a settlement called Dibs. Yes, that's where we're going. It's like, well, actually, you know, I'm going to Dibs anyway, so I got to turn my bounty. Um, I can't promise anything further, but I'll put you at least there. And us to return it. No, we're not taking his bounty. Unless you mean that in a figurative sense. <laughs> <laughs> I said I wouldn't harass, not that I wouldn't joke. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so Casey, okay. You get the idea that based on the symbols that you can't read, <laughs> your professor would be able to read them. Can I take a picture of them or, or draw Wait, them so that can I can... That would be an amazing idea. Can we try I had it all out what phone. language it's in? Um, there's no such thing as pictures back then, so you don't have pictures. But... I have to draw it. Just can I transcribe it? Like? it the uh, text, by the way, is raised. Oh. From the ground. I'm actually really good at forgery. Can I That's true. copy it? Yeah. You could go ahead. Give me a. Give me a, if wow. you want. You can't read if, or write, but you can forge. Like no. <laughs> That's yeah. actually pretty impressive. I mean, like you could get like a. You know what? Uh, yeah, give me give me a give me a forgery type. If it's raised, you could just take an etching of it. <laughs> it's a stick figure, but I did it, you guys. <laughs> I got the impression um, they're pretty big. I mean, 
It looks like you got most of it there. It looks like it's in really bad handwriting, and it looks like it's <laughs> very hard to read. But, you know, you think it looks mostly the same. It's hard to read. Can I just... Can uh, Knopfner I mean, make an fine. airplane out of it? <laughs> I'd like to copy what I see onto a, an unused paper in my alchemy textbook. Are you going to copy it directly, or are you going to do what... Uh, or are you going to etch it? I think. Uh, how big would the etching be? Um, it looks like the pattern around the circle repeats, so okay. you could probably fit it on a single piece of paper. I'd like to etch, etch that pattern onto a piece of paper. Let's see. You know what? Um, if you're actually just doing that, it doesn't actually require anything. I can say you, you don't even have to roll anything for that. Perfect. <laughs> you have an etching of it. An etch sketch. And you also etch have sketch. you also have Sneaky Pete's not quite as good <laughs> rendering of so. <laughs> Perfect. It's good to have. It's but you, to, it's good. It's good to have you know uh, <laughs> options. Yeah, options. a barrier method and the. Uh... <laughs> all right, all right. Let's let's okay. get out of here. Danny okay. wants to make her way towards the inskirts. <laughs> I love the bunker you guys drew on this page, by the way. That's amazing. <laughs> Which one um, has drew that? I don't know. <laughs> Um, Wait, it's purple, so it would have been... Uh, based on the doorway, it makes... I don't know, actually, I have no idea who did that. I think it's Jeffy. I don't recall doing such a thing, but I might have. I don't recall many of the things. Sometimes I, I drop bunkers and I don't know it. <laughs> Bobby can't confirm I have the worst memory of anyone ever. <sighs> it's pretty bad. But Bobby has bad memory as well. I do also have bad memory. She lies really? to me and then forgets about it ten years later. I don't think that's true at all. <laughs> she would. So you guys are on the road, and you guys have decided to go south towards Dibs, correct? Yes. Yep. Okay. As you guys are going down the road, I would like you guys to make a listen check for whoever oh, I'm wants. I'm super good at listening. <laughs> I have a plus seven. Okay, I'm like adequate at listening. Then. Whoever I'm wants to, go ahead and roll. Check. I need I at least one to person to hit 12 for you. Woo! Hey, he hit 12. <laughs> oh, you, you can beat me. Huh. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Freya. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get the one. Ah, oh, so close. <laughs> I got the two. Okay, it looks like everyone succeeded, except for... <laughs> Nat Landon. Oh, Landon also failed. Okay, so two people failed. Landon and Natnerk hear a displacer kitten start hissing and giving off a low growl. Ooh. Coming from, from Sneaky Pete's shirt? It is coming from... Beat the cat. Yeah, but... um, Wait, what? What does so what? Freya hear? Okay, everyone else... Um, I'll get to Freya, Freya last. Everyone else, ex excluding Freya, hears a... Ew. Ew. Sound. Oh, that's the noise? That's yes. A, that's a disturbing sound. <laughs> so, I'm going to say to Sticky Pete, hey, Sticky Pete, I think there is something happening. Your animal is is starting to get concerned. So, I think we have to be careful. What direction was that noise that we heard coming um, from? It seems to be... Uh, slightly west off the road, but mostly south along the road. I draw my crossbow and look towards that direction. Okay, uh, Freya's, there's, uh, some dripping water and some humanoid onomatopoeias. Can I spot so I know what I can see? Sure, give me a spot check. Plus eight spot. Maybe, Maybe other I people should light. spot as well. I can make it lighter. Yeah, someone else should probably spot check. Uh, you see mostly road and snow. Okay, I'm rolling one too. Really? <laughs> you see a little bit more snow. I can spot very well, but uh, I don't have any reason to because I only hear a bit of growling from a cat. <laughs> I mean, the other people in your party are apparently looking around for something. You notice them looking. <laughs> I got an 18. You discern, like, just off the road, a little bit further south, you see a rippling puddle. Can I do a move silently? 
over there. It seems there is a strange puddle in that direction. I point at it. Uh, I'm gonna put it. Ten uh, minute uh, warning I... for Sneaky Pete, who has an early bedtime and has to go pet his cat. I guess. Is that easy? <laughs> <laughs> If you guys want to investigate the puddle, you might want to get closer to it, but that is up to you, and how you're distancing is up to you. I um, also try to spot okay. this puddle. Sure, from a spot. I did already point it out to everybody. So and now, yes, that's, and now I know to look. <laughs> that's true. Um, if you're pointing at it, everyone who pays attention, yeah, everyone can see it if you're pointing at it. Uh, perhaps we do not approach the puddle and instead make a wide like... arc around. <laughs> I just did a move silently up to it. So Sneaky no one... Pete immediately runs through the puddle. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we also have a... Uh... <laughs> By the way, was that audible in game? What, the sigh? The sigh, yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. Um, okay, uh, when you get to the puddle, you see that um, every roughly 10 seconds or so, the entire puddle ripples, and you think you're discerning snoring sounds coming from the puddle. Snoring sounds? I have a swim. Oh, but bad idea, dude. No, you do not <laughs> touch the puddle. Oh, I've got um like knowledge local, knowledge geography. Or I've got knowledge nature. Oh, that sounds pretty what, what, which, Tell me which one you're rolling, and you're welcome to. My nature's not very good. Does anyone else have a knowledge nature or something? I have knowledge nature. Um, I, knowledge. I have knowledge history. Uh, plus seven. Nice. I could climb in. No. Nature. Can I use my knowledge of nature to try to guess what it is? Sure, roll it for me. Woo! Yeah. You get the idea that this is something that is not natural. You do not think it is. Uh, you think it might be uh, potentially magical in nature. That's all. But that's all you can discern. Can we use rope to drop rope down in there? Sure. Wait, Knontonurk has an ID. He. He takes the squid on his stick off of the stick, <laughs> and uh, then it drops it. it. No, then puts some bait on it instead on the rope, and uh, then uses it as an impromptu fishing line. That is of course. the best idea I've ever I heard. So uh, I try to fish whatever is in there. What exactly are you putting on the line? Um, I am putting. Pudding. What uh, was kind of it? Like some jerky, I guess. So wait, is the is the squid holding the jerky? No, no, no. I I the, got the squid, the squid off of the stick that. because I don't want to lose my squid. But the squid would be a perfect organism. No, it's my off. weapon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I need it. <laughs> okay. So you drop the fishing pole in. So you Small put the jerky, jerky. Uh, the jerky into the puddle. It makes a bloop sound as it goes goes in. Um, the rippling stops. You hear, after a few seconds, the jerky is thrown out of the pool, uh, about 15 feet in the air, and there seems to be something rising from the puddle. It looks like the puddle itself is extending upwards and taking a, an amorphous, solid appearance around. See this. Yeah, yeah. As it does so, you hear some <sighs> yawning and stretching, and it looks like the puddle seems to form into a humanoid shape. Can I sense uh, the foot of the humanoid water person thing? Sure, what are you trying to discern? Uh, whether they are a threat to us or not. Sure, go roll it for me. Sense motive. Okay, four. They haven't done anything particularly threatening yet, but just being imaginable in nature probably makes you a, more than a little wary. Yeah, I see. Weary. There we go. You, you're welcome to if you want to. And let's see. He doesn't want to. <laughs> 
That is by far the last time I ever make deal with Infernals. I tell one lava spawn that his wife is not cheating on him, and the bastard gives me a hug. It took forever to reconstitute, I guess is the word I'm looking for. Recondensate? Is that a word? No. Recondensate is probably not a word. <laughs> to recondense? I don't know. One of those. Uh, this is so exhausting. Uh, do you guys, do you get... is a word. Do, do, do you all have uh, have any have any flasks of water I could I, I could have? Uh, sure. I'll toss him a canister of water. Canister. Uh, she she proceeds to chug the entire thing. Um, what what are you exactly? Um, what, what do I look like? I'm water elemental, of course. Have you never seen a, a water elemental before? No. Well, this is an exciting time for you then. <laughs> it is. is it so? Of course, I am. I am the. Uh, I am the one and only Shiori, the uh, uh, information broker extraordinaire. Oh wait! Get him, gather information. I can do that. Can we ask about the circle? Yeah. Um, I'm going to leave it at that because it's been two minutes. Okay. And you guys can decide. Exactly. But you'll remind us, right? Yep, I will remind you. Am I supposed to yeah. do something in my scorecard, or nothing changes this time? Um, technically, you guys have all leveled up, but um, seeing as leveling up takes us about an hour and a half for this group, I'm going to postpone that. Smart. Smart move. Question for you guys. Do you same time in two or three weeks? Yeah, I like it. I like doing this more frequently. That's... Oh, wait, I'm not doing anything ever again.